a little bit of phase diagram review. So we have a phase diagram, temperature here, pressure here, they pretty much all look very similar. You'll see in your text they have some complicated ones. You don't have to worry about remembering those because they do get very complicated. But just for the baseline, basics of what you need to know, it looks something like this, where we've got the solid, liquid, and gas. And you'll need to know how to draw this. So solid, liquid, and gas. This point right here is the triple point. That's where solid, liquid, and gas come together. They coexist together. That's a particular pressure, a particular temperature. This right here you'd also have to remember, it's called the critical point. Uh, above the critical point, this line is gone, and it's a mixture, it's what we call supercritical fluid. It's used in some sciences to do various different things, extractions and such. Uh, so that's your basic drawing. Here, this line right here, I'll draw it uh, in red. That line right there, that re represents the cloches clapeyron equation. Uh, and then, if you have a line that goes like this, bye. If you have a line that goes like that, that's keeping the pressure constant, so we call this an isobar. If you have a line that goes like this, that's a constant temperature, so we call this an isotherm. And why those are interesting, well, they're just common terms that you'll see in this area. Why those are interesting, say I give you, say, this point. I say, we're going to cool down. What's the next phase we get to? Well, if you go at constant pressure, you're going to go through the liquid phase. So you go, this point here represents what? When I go through this point right there. Condensation. Condensation, yeah. So this is a condensation point or negative delta H of vaporization. Then you go through here, go through the liquid phase. Once you get here, this is going to be the freezing point or negative delta H of fusion. Okay? And then you'll just cool down the solid. So usually what we'll do is we'll have you draw this. I'll give you like a couple points, like I'll give you the triple point. And then I'll, like we did in class, I'll give you another point and say draw the isobar or draw the isotherm. Tell me what phase you start in, tell me what the next phase is, etc. So, if this was, uh, just make a really simple one, 1-1 one, one for the triple point, and I had you plot 5-1, uh, then you go over here, 5-1, oh that's starting in the gas phase. If you heat up according to an isotherm, you'll go up into the liquid regime. If you, uh, don't hit, you increase the pressure according to isotherm. If you're over here and you, I say, where did you start? You started in the gas phase. If I say, okay, you cool down according to an isobar, what's the next phase you hit? You'll hit the solid. That kind of stuff is the stuff I'd ask you. So, you may have to draw it, you might not, but you might still get asked questions about it. Okay. Why is that the cautious clapron? This one right here? Why is this? A cautious clapron represents uh, when you have some sort of, say, let's say you have a liquid, and then there's vapor up here. And this is at a certain temperature and at a certain pressure. And so the cautious clapron represents going from the liquid to the vapor, this boundary line. And that's the boundary line right here between the liquid and the vapor. So that's why that's the cautious clapron. Yeah. Uh, actually, you could, there's cautious clapron equations for other parts of this too, but the only one we learned is this one. Yeah. And it's between the vapor and the liquid state. So when you're doing like uh, cautious clapron, remember you have this equation, that log P2 over P1, delta H over R, 1 over T1 minus 1 over T2. So 1, let's say here's uh, P1, no, it would be T1, P1. 
let's say that point's right there, then up here, let's say this is P2, P2. So that's how, you know, both of those points that we'd give you are along this line. Okay. 